Hello everyone, welcome to、uh, SuperGeo online course again. I'm today's speaker Eva Lai, senior support engineer in SuperGeo, and today I'm talking about、uh, how to utilize Silverlight API with、uh, SuperGeo server. So,、uh, this is the online for today's online course. First of all, I will introduce two sources of、uh, you can、uh, get from. Uh, the two sources that you can get the simple codes. One is in our help menu, and another one is the online source in our SuperGeo developer network. And then I will have brief introduction for the structure of using our Silverlight API with our SuperGeo server. And then the third one is the tools and the basic steps to apply or to create. A web application for Silverlight. And then I will have two cases, and then including the demo part to show you how to apply Silverlight API for our SuperGeo server. So let me、uh, go to the first part. Is the sources of the sample codes?、Uh, there are two ways that you can get the sample codes. First, the one is in our user menu, in our help menu. It is located in our SuperGeo Server Developer Guide. You can choose the category in, under SuperGeo Server Silverlight API. This one, and in this part, in this category, that you can,、uh, it will lead you step by step to create a web application for Silverlight, and then including a lot of sample codes from basic one. To advanced one to、uh, apply for、uh, the Silverlight API, so you can. I will、um, suggest you to look at our user menu for、um, create for creating your first Silverlight API, basic from our developer guide, and then. You can go to our online source SGDN SuperGeo Developer Network, and under the Resource Center, it is there is an option SuperGeo Server API Samples. We provide JavaScript, Flux, and Silverlight. So you can click on this one Silverlight to find more about the sample codes. So if you、uh, go to our SGDN SuperGeo Net. A、developer network, you will find more sample codes under here. This is the web page that、um, you get into our SuperGeo developer network.、Uh, on the left hand side, this the column here. You can choose the topics that you want to apply for Silverlight API and choose the one. And then it will tell you will have a live samples, and then you can also download the sample codes. As a zip file, and from the zip description and how to use part, it will、um, teach you how to apply this simple code to your own web application. So this is for、uh, one of the resources that you can get. It is from our SuperGeo Developer Network. And I will moving the to the second part is the structure of using our Silverlight API is. Uh, once you publish the map by our SuperGeo Server Manager, remember you must publish the map service as a catch service. This one, the, the,、uh, there's a description in our user menu. Here, this one for Silverlight,、uh, you need to use the catch service, and in the SuperGeo Server Manager, this one. If you would like to publish as a cache service, you need to check on this checkbox to use cache. So,、uh, while you、uh, before you apply or using the Silverlight API, I would suggest you to check our、um, user guide in details and remember to publish the map service as a cache service. And then after done of the first work. I will introduce for、uh, the web application and for creating the web application for Silverlight. After creating this one, it will send a request from the map service 
it is from the agent.aspx so after you create the Silverlight web application it will send a request from the map service this one and this uh, agent will send the map information will send the map contents back to the web application so this is the uh, communication between the web application and with the uh, map service it is directly from this agent.aspx so this is this is quite simple so this is for the basic structure for using the civil api so i'll move to the third part is to introduce for the basic step to apply civil api for our SuperG server so first of all the tools that you need to prepare or to use is the microsoft visual studio 2010 or above and um the step is you need first step is to create a visual uh visual c sharp civil application and um, besides c sharp the super G server su supports for visual basic and visual c sharp for civil api and after you create already created the uh, uh web application you need to add reference from our um from our components this one sgw dll you must add this as a reference and then you need to add two box items from this one from the reference so i will show you how to um follow steps to apply so this is the first step to create the c sharp application first of all in your microsoft uh, visual studio to new uh, project and choose the one uh, under the, v the visual c sharp and choose the civil light and choose this one civil light application and then go to the next step is after creating uh, a civil light application you need to add reference just right click on the reference part to add the add reference this one and use the browse icon to find this one sgw silverlight api dot dll it is under the folder uh c dix c and program files x86 and super geo and under the server folder and under the client api folder and under silverlight so there's a, a dll file just need to add this as a reference and then go to the next part is choose the toolbox item Af after you call out this window and use this browse icon to choose from this DL again and then it will uh, bring this toolbox automatically to bring in to the uh, from the to the list and then go to the next step is after you uh, do the preparation work and then we can ready to start to customize for the web application so ready we can start to customize for our first uh, civil web application now so this is the first example that i will show you how to have the info window in your civil application and to connect with the superg server the map service published by our superg server so just like the picture shows here the map is published by our superg server and once click on the map it will show you some information about the feature like the country the name of the country and the population and the gdp all the information is saved in uh, the attribute table so we can uh, assess for the information and then to uh, display in the info window and then by our uh, civil api so how to do that is First of all, that it is located in our simple code from our SGDN, Super, uh, Super Geo Developer Network. 
uh, under the category civil law API and under controls there is one point query this one and you can choose from this one choose the topic here and then go to the download as a zip file this one so you can one click to download the sample code and from here in the how to use part it will tell you which files that you need to modify for the simple code for the simple file that you download from here so after download here you can we can start to create our uh civil application and to customize it so first of all for the uh showing some information in the info window first of all you need to choose what kind of data or what kind of information that we need to display uh, for example if we would like to um, from the figure here if we would like to show the information uh, from for showing the country name just like this one under um, the field separate this one it is the name of the country if we would like to show this information in the uh, info window first of all we need to know the name of the field and uh, for the info window it could also display information for multiple fields for example uh, the name of the country or this one or other uh, fields we just need to know the name of the field to decide it and to remember it and then we can do the customization in the following step so after you create uh, the civil application in uh, Microsoft Visual Studio uh, there are two files that you need to pay attention the first one is the main page dot xaml this one in this file uh, this is for the front of the uh, display window for example uh, this my friend this one this is the major uh, area that's showing the map surface like this one and to design it you can click you can check the code under here like for example this is the uh, the height and the width this one and because we are going to display some information in the info window we would like to we need to add another uh, grid for example for this one this is the grid and we give a name as uh, the name gd1 means this one this small rectangle here and you can set for the background color as, as well as set for the white and the height and this is for uh, the info window so in this uh, in this file main page dot xaml it is for designing the frame uh, of the displaying window so after this one we need to do the coding part for the GS function and it is for it is in the main page dot xaml dot cs file this one we need to do some uh, customization or to do the coding part in this .cs file so first of all we need to append a lot of um, uh, reference this one after we add a reference we can uh, append some functional coding from our sgw civil api .dll. for example this one interface and the most important one is the map and the layer and the geometry and to add these two as well so this is how we need to uh, append with uh, courses from our SGW Civil API and then after do done all the first part and the code in the coding part and now we need to do um, in the main function and then in this one the public main page is uh, the major one to display the map so under here you we need to uh, append with to set up for the map reference the white and the 
height and we can set for the background then to add the map to display and then we need to uh, send a request from uh, we need to send a request to our SuperJuice server and then as like uh, as what I said before was we need to send a request to this one agent.axpx this one so uh, we need to get a resource path and to specify for this here to the IP address and the name of the service and then to um, assess from this agent.aspx and then to uh, execute this function and then to add the layers this one oh sorry to add the layers here and then for the tools like to zoom in or zoom out or wheel zoom this one is it you can add this part of function you can add this part of code to enable or to disable just need to set as a false or true and then to it to uh, use the function to select the map and then because we are going to want use the function that one click to check the information about the feature so here we appended one more function code mouse left button up equals this function so under here it will lead you to another part of code it is under here this part of code it will send the mouse uh, send the location of the mouse and then to do some query function about the feature for example here uh, this is send the request for identify for the first layer and then to uh, this one for the first layer and then to get the um, point from the cursor and then transfer to the map point and then to execute the query this is another function to do the query and about the uh, parameters that you need to set inside this one you can refer to this one this uh, picture where you're typing uh, the function dot execute query and with these two uh, marker it will uh, pop out uh, tips like here it will tell you first one you need to type in the string string expression and expression in string format and the second parameter is uh, the geometry and it is the boolean format and the third one and this is the third one once it succeeds then you uh, you need to execute the function here and if it uh, the function is filled uh, which function it will lead you to so this is the four parameters we need to um, set about so uh, back to the coding part here so this is the first parameter to uh, this is the expression for in string string format it will send the coordinate to uh, to do the query and then to get the geometry it is because it is a boolean format so it either be true or false so set as a true and once the query function is succeed we need to uh, execute this one query succeed function and if it, the query is fail we just return null so we can continue to check in details what's inside the query succeed so going here in query succeed function it will lead you to another uh, sub, sub function and he, he says here once he enter to this part of a uh, code uh, I will uh, if you click on the empty area you will send you will check uh, the string if it is the click if you click on the in the empty area you will send a text and back to display back to the window to display and if the we click on features it will uh, get queries it will use the query function and then to we can type 
on this one for specify for the um, uh, name of the field here here name dash one means the name of the field you need to uh, add this one at this part and then to add as a text function to display remember the info window we set the, the name as gd1 so here we appended the text in the info window and then to display so after finish the query we can check the information in the uh, info window here so this is uh, the code part for the first example uh, to use the info window to show information about the features so here comes the demo time to show you how to uh, create the Silverlight application from the beginning and to create the info window to sh do the query function and then to uh, send the information back to display so let me uh, switch to the demo, pa demo part Okay, here comes the first uh, demo time. So allow me to switch my platform to here, the uh, Windows Server OS, and it's the install with SuperG Server. So here, well, I already prepared one uh, data, one project file, SGD file, uh, including the one polygon layer and one raster data that uh, the uh, area of in Europe so we here now need to use this data this GIS data to publish and then to uh, apply Silverlight API simple for you so this is the data I prepare so we can check a little bit I set the uh, labeling then we can right click to check the table because later we will need to uh, use this table information for example we need to query about the name of the country separate or uh, subregion the area this one we can use this table to uh, query about this information and show in the info window so this is the data I prepared so let me save as a project file again then go to our SuperG server manager to log in and then to publish a map service so after this one to use this add icon to publish so allow me to just give a, a temporary name and this one document you need to specify for the path for uh, the SGD file mine is saved in under DXC and is here Silverlight data and this one and click down and then to publish and before you apply the Silverlight API, you need to pay attention is uh, you need to publish this map service as a cache service. So you can uh, use Silverlight API later. So we now we need to go to the configuration. Just one click on this icon and need to check on this checkbox to enable the map cache service. And then we can go uh, scroll down to the cache scale definition part because here we need to decide the uh, scale so we can use this suggestion to uh, give a label account maybe label count maybe I want to uh, set up for seven levels and click down and you will load the scale de definition automatically and also suggest it and then we can click uh, down so it is published as a map catch service so you will see this map service in the catch column is checked so the next step is we can go to the application part to create a civil light a civil light web application and go to the create part and then to give a, a name and choose the corresponding configuration file this one is CivilLight.cfg and this check will automatically to brought in here and then go to the next one to uh, create and then this one is automatically to create the uh, map 
element. So go to the next part and go to the done icon and it is the web application is created successfully and we can use this URL to open the link and then to check the data to see if it is a uh, match with what we prepare for our data and now it's load so this is the map service that we have published and then we can use this one to uh, apply our Civilite API now so before that you need to pay attention is if your map service is not published under the folder called public you need to copy to xml file under the is web uh, website so this is here under the rules the is manager here is manager we need to copy to XML file from our SuperJuice server, Silverla API under this site. So firstly, we need to uh, go under this folder, then to right click to browse to explore, and then to copy to XML file under this path. And the file you need to find is under uh, DC program files x86 and then go to super Jill, and then go super part and there's a folder called client API go to the silver light and copy this to XML document copy to uh, the IS manager triple W uh, root and copy to here because while using the Silverla API, we need to uh, use quote some information ab about the IIS manager. So we need to copy this to XML. It is important. And then now we can start to uh, create our own Silverla API project by using the Visual Studio like this one. So the first step is we need to uh, create a new project using C Sharp, Visual C Sharp, and using uh, applying for Silverlight. So after launch it, we can and bef uh, at the time launching it, that I already download the simple code from the website. It's called Silverlight Info, and there is there are two files. One is uh, main page. And another one is the manpage.xaml.cs file. And this is the uh, two files that we need to copy, or we need to copy the uh, coding part to our application for Silverlight. So let me just wait a little bit for launching the Visual Studio. Oh, by the way, uh, while using the Silverlight API, we need to add reference. So firstly, you need to go to the program files x86 to check the Silverlight API from our SuperJuice server. It is under SuperJuice folder, and there's a server part and to client API part, and there's a Silverlight, and we need to quote it from this D DLL file. So after we launch the Visual Studio and to create a Silverlight project the first thing that we need to is to add reference so So this is the uh, interface of Microsoft Visual Studio 2013. And now we are going to create a new uh, Visual Studio uh, C-Sharp project. So go to the new part and choose the project. And then to choose uh, under the Visual C-Sharp, there is a civil light. And then to create, give us a name, maybe your civil light. Uh, 
simple one and then to create a CLI application you click on the OK icon and then just choose this one CLI version 5 and then cl to click OK and it will start to create project uh, in C Sharp then now we need to we can go to the, uh, the sample part to unzip it and then to copy the contents the coding part in these two files so allow me to open it with the notepad plus plus any text editor so this is the coding part for the main page dot xaml uh, as what i mentioned before this is the uh, coding part for the friend for the website so after creating the project in visual studio then we can first thing that we need to do is to add reference so here Here, uh, first thing that we need to do is to go to the reference part and then to right click to add reference and to find the one uh, under a uh, C. Then we can use this one or to browse it to f find the one under Dix C, Super Jill, uh, Program Files X. 86 and then go to the super geo folder and there's a, a server folder and choose the client api part and choose civilite and then to quote it this one sgw civilite api and then to click ok and to check at this and click ok and it will add us reference and the second part is we need to add uh, the toolbox item so this is uh, the where, the, the place uh, to choose toolbox items here and then to add the toolbox that from our uh, SGW Civil API for example you can use this one Civil like components and then then to use this one browse and then to find out the SGW civil API and then to put in and once it is loaded well uh contents here and we can use uh, sort and they contains contr content control or level bar control or map map best. so this is the one that quoted from our SGW civil API so click on OK then we can do the coding part for the f map uh, for the friend for this one we can just directly to copy and past sorry to copy and past here and this one uh, the grid it is for the info window so later we will show the uh, uh, attribute table uh, in this info window and then for the major jazz function we need to do the coding part is under here main page dot xaml.cs so we just directly to uh, find out to copy this dot cs file to copy um to paste 
here and to save and you will find that there's uh, something er some arrows here so here we might need to add reference uh, based on this one so go to the reference part to add reference to find out system.xml for .link this one also so click on OK to add as reference and the arrow will be gone and then go to the next one is uh, the arrow is gone right so the next thing is we need to quote it from the agent.asbx and here I can modify um, the IP address uh, because I just published a uh, map service in localhost so I can publish uh, type in the localhost and the map service name is Civilite so if I want to check this is a uh, uh, it is legal to do a map service I can press control and click on this link so it will do a query about this agent.asbx and if it is um, there are some features can be identified so it will show the information on this web page so So here, this is the content for the map service we just published, including the field name separate and also including the subregion. So this is the two fields that we want to query about. So we just copy this one and to pass on, pass on this one under here. If we would like to uh, query about to show information about the country name, we just need to uh, to pass the field name under here. And for the structure about using Civilite API it is uh, in the main page, it will initialize of the page and then to add a source according to the agent.aspx and I can delete this one. And then it will load the layer and to uh, enter the sub function here on layer loaded so we can after this one we can enter the sub function uh, over here on loaded on layer loaded and it will show a message tell you this is the uh, this is now you are this will show a message box to uh, indicate that you are enter this sub function and then to um, get a map extent and then to zoom to the extent and then to refresh a map and then go back to the main page function here to add the layers and then to enable the tools for example to allow double click to zoom in or zoom out or to in or to not to enable it enable it or to use the wheel zoom and then to use this one mouse left button up to do the query and then to enter another sub function here void uh, mp best map map best and mouse left button up and then go to this one to uh, identify identify for the layers and then to get the points the x y position from the screen and then to um, transfer to the map and then to do the query part and if the query is successful it will enter to this sub function again and then and after enter this sub function it will query about uh, the contents for example the features and the fields that we would like to display and this one after we have uh, to do the query successfully it will send the result back to the uh, info window this gd1 info window and then to make visible then go back to uh, this one again to set the position for the info window so this is the structure for uh, the 
first one example for the info window so now we can use uh, this one to run this civilized application then you will start to build this civilized application now If there comes some errors, we can use the debug one to find out where it is. And if no, if you can notice, you can see there's a little box that drop down menu that we can do some modif modification to uh, to to correct the errors. For example, this one, and then we can save and to run it again to build this civil application. So this is uh, after it, the civil application is built successfully, it will show a message box in the sub uh, function on layer loaded. So you will have to, uh, it will tell you this is you enter the sub function now and click on OK, and it will start to loading the map. So if we can use the uh, wheel to zoom in, or zoom out, and then we can use click to do the query and then the information about the country name will display in the info window like this one this is france and this is spain and this is poland and this one is sweden and if we would like if you would like to add more information in that window in this info window we can add more appending here and then to add it again so this is how you can uh to do the query and to display your information in the info window by using Civilite API. So this is for the first part for the demo. So let me switch back. Sorry, switch back to here. Here's the second example to use JavaScript object notation to add the points and to give some uh, attribute information for that graphics. For example, the feature uh, the figure shows here. We can uh, in this text window we can append we can assign the uh, uh, the position for the points like uh, zero zero and another one is uh, one mil one million and two million and we append these two points we finish in this text box and then we can click on this icon it will add the points directly on uh, the map surface here and then to show and also uh, to give uh, some information about the point like this one maybe is the seaside and the value the name is called AA so we can use our Silverlight API to uh, achieve this kind of work. So allow me to introduce in details. So after you download the same code from our SGDN, you can also to do the customization for uh, according to the how to use part. For example, it will tell you, first of all, in the .xml file, 
like what I mentioned before. This file is for uh, designing the map front, the front of the design displaying window for this one, like uh, the rec rectangle here. All the details uh, for the settings, like to divide it into two columns, like this is the one column and this one is the second column. And also have a panel like this one to put the buttons like these two and have the score view, this one to display the text, to display the JSON here, the JSON text. All the designing, it is in the coding part here. So let we just take a look at this code part. Like here, uh, the two column it will uh, show here. This one, this is the whole frame. I said the height as uh, 600 and the width for uh, 1200. And I set four columns, this one, two columns. And then for, uh, I also append this with, this is the first column to set the height and margin and the background. And the second one is to set for the grid, this one. And then to add the panel, to pull a button, like the first button I put is this one to clear map this one and another button is to create feature set from JSON text and once we click on the button it will lead you to another functional uh, super function here it is for the coding part I will introduce later this part and this part as well and then for the score view this part uh, it is for the text box we will just to save the text in JSON format and we can do some um, modify directly on, the, on this window to modify on the JSON text and then to apply directly so this is for the front of this display window we can use the code part to design and then go into the JS function for coding here that's why I mentioned before this is uh, the main um, function that to display the map service here it is uh, the request to ask for s the map to display from my agent .asbx, this one and then to add the layers and then if we would like to enable the wheel zone we just need to set as a true and then we need to uh, append this other function uh, for example once the uh, the map view is loading, it will enter this function and directly go into the sub function here on layer loaded, and here it will directly to uh, activate this function. Create feature suggestion this one. Then let me check a little bit about this func sub function. And then to uh, in this sub function here, here we just saved uh, a default just an input input as here to set as a features and to set for the attribute and give a name and for the geometry is equal at a point and give a coordinate for that and this is for the JSON in text oh sorry JSON in text and put this string into the JSON text box, this one. Remember, I just in the scroll viewer, this one. And then we can uh, uh, to check the other function. For example, once we click on the button clear map, how it act act activate the function. Once it click clear, click, uh, it will enter the sub function here button dash clear map. So directly in here. Uh, so after click on this one, it will uh, clear all uh, the graphics and to remove the layers, this one. And then if we click on another button like this one, create feature set from JSON, it will lead you to another sub function, button dash load, and it is here at the 
the main code part is in here. After we click on another button, and it will um, it will loading the JSON text, and then to create the uh, graphics, it will decide uh, the geometry if it will. If the geometry is set as a polygon, it will enter here. If the geometry is set as a line string, it will directly to enter here. And because we set the geometry as a point, so we, it will directly into here. And we can set for the color and the size here for a point. And to use the uh, simple marker symbol to display. And then to, uh, sorry, to use this symbol to give uh, to display according to the geometry we set. So this is uh, how he uh, finished the whole workflow to display uh, graphics by the JSON function. So let's move to the demo part to show you how to create the frame to display and then to use the JSON function to um, to specify a point to display on the map service directly. So let me uh, let we move to the demo part. Okay, here comes the second demo. So allow me to switch my platform again. So this is the Visual Studio. As I said, we need to create a civil application, and then just this one I click OK to open a new civil application. And then as I said, we're using the same uh, map service using this one, the maps in Europe. I just we just published before. And as I said, firstly we can create the friend for the map for the uh, the f the web. So we can go to uh, our Download this sample using this one, uh, civilization edit, so extract it, and then to using this one, these two main page and this one main page dot xaml dot cs to uh, do the designing for for the map for the frame for the web. So we can copy this one and then to past to here uh, sorry to pass to here to over here and then the friend will be uh, continue to edit for but before that before that we need to notice that we need to add reference for example we need to add the reference uh, at this time we need to go if you download the uh, a simple code from our SGDN, this one, sgdn.supergeotech.com, uh, from our API simple, Silverlight, and from this one, JSON input and output, this one, this item, this simple. If you download this one, you will see we have up upgrade our uh, SGW Silverlight API components and we also uh, you also notice that you need to add system.json.dll to reference so in here here we need to add the reference from the newly updated this one SGW Civilite API the version 1.0 uh, 5212 modify uh, in 2014 and then to create add to just to add it and click OK. And then second one is we need to add uh, system dot JSON. Just the same, just right click to add reference and to use this one a sample, I think. It, to find out using uh, you can use this extension to find system dot JSON. This one to check this and then to enable this one into including. And the next one is we need to add system uh, windows control. So add reference again, and then to find out uh, recent 
or this one system that windows that control then to include it as well and then it will show the friend for the web here this is the friend for example this icon it will uh, correspond to this one button and will enter this function and this icon uh, this is uh, for line here the coding part here and will enter the coding this function code button dash load and this one this is the map friend to display so this is map best and this is the uh, tape 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 item so this is the friend for designing and another one for the coding part the major part it is the dot js then we can to using this one to open and then to copy oh sorry to copy select all and copy and then go to here to uh pass it past pass o and then the second point is that we need to change uh the resource here we need to change as uh, silver light and the dot agent dot xbx and as I said this is the tool that we can use the wheel to zoom in or zoom out and then to find the extent and to zoom to extent the map extent and here it is corresponding to uh, the icon button load once we click on this one it will load uh, it will execute the function in here for example to add another graphic and then the message box we can remark and then if the um, we create a geometry that is based on polygon so it will enter to this part to generate the symbols it is field and if it is for line string it will enter to this function and if it is if it is a point you will enter this function and then to set as a uh, symbol and the size and before that how we decide to uh, what we decide to what we decide to add the geometry it is we need to create features by json so this is the string to set as a json so this is uh, the code here and if we w would like to change the position we can change at here and then to save the project and then to run it again to find out if there's some errors or some we need to debug or we find out there's a uh, error so we can stop it temporarily and to find out and using this drop down menu again to fix the error and then to save again and to run it and at this time I think it is work so it will run in a uh, web browser for example IE Internet Explorer okay it comes out that it seems that uh, still miss one reference so I just stop here for temporary and to add reference again to this time is uh, this one system dot xml dot link ing this one and then to press ok and then to run it again to build the silver application and this is uh, this time the error is no longer exists again uh, so we can use the zoom uh, wheel to zoom in or zoom out then we can to modify on the position coordinate for the point for example we could change as uh, zero zero and then to create a new feature from json and you will indicate that it is a point and then to it will show you here because it is located in zero zero if i change to zero or uh, 60 then to create it again it will indicate it is a point and uh, allow me to find it it is uh, near 
the uh, the northern part and we can use this one clear map to clear all the geometries in here so we can change a little bit for example uh, longitude 0 and latitude 450 degree north so it is uh, located in France so this is how you can work to add uh, geometry based on the JSON so this is how it works so this is for the second part for the demo okay after the two examples that are included in the demo part I show you we can use this exercise to practice a little bit about how to uh, build a satellite application for example uh, we can use the uh, classify symbol to display our map service for example to use different color to indicate the information of our GIS data for example the name of the city or to indicate the population or the rainfall or even the crime rate that you can display on map directly so um, in this practice in this exercise we only focusing on one function that is the unique value like this one we need to create a frame like this one and then to use the panel to uh, have this one and to to put a button to apply and then to use the JSON format JavaScript uh, object notation to give to assign um, a symbology like the color or to for what which value that we would like to change the color for example the figure shows here we changed uh, one city in Taiwan as a blue and another city as a uh, in yellow and another one in red so we can achieve uh, this kind of work in this exercise so uh, to make it more easily that we have the same code directly on our SuperGeo developer network you can go to directly go to the SGDN to choose for a uh, JSON part under the category here and then this is the classification just click on this one to use the uh, sample code download from here download the zip file and then in the how to use part to unzip it and then to add a reference and then to add another system.json.dl as another reference and then copy the modified code here or to just use the symbol code in the zip file so we can do the exercise a little bit to show you how to do that so that we just begin to practice this uh, exercise Okay, here comes the uh, demo type for the exercise that uh, allow me to change a little for the platform again. So here I will change the data to the one I just prepared and you will get the data from our demo site. And here I prepare a data that it is the administrator administrative uh, data for uh, in Taiwan. So this is the map for Taiwan and this is the each uh, county or city here. So from the attribute, if we open it, so you will see the all this one is Taiwan and for the details part is in name dash two, it is the Kaohsiung city and this is Taipei city. So here is the Taipei one one located and this is the another one is the southern part and this is the central of Taiwan and this one is the uh, the central of Taiwan this is the Taichung city so we have um, we have prepared this data already and save us SGD project file to publish but this time because we are going to change the color uh, as a classification, uh, classification so we can publish a map service firstly and then to uh, give a name to like class and then to specify for the uh, past for example my the data is the data is under Dixie silver data this one silver.sgd and then to publish 
Remember, while using the Silverlight API, we need to uh, set up the map catch service. So remember to check on this box, and then to give the scale definition, uh, you can use the suggestion, maybe five level. And because we are going to change the uh, classification to change the color, we need to get the geometry. So we need to enable the feature service as well and then to make it editable. It means that we'll send the geometry uh, information back to the client side. So we can, according to the geometry, to change the color. So we can click on down. So you can see uh, the catch column and the edit column is also uh, checked. So we can use application to publish again. Uh, to choose the silver line and then to even it. And then choose the corresponding configuration file .cfg and go to the next one. And the others go just go next. And then click down. And from the IS list, here we can refresh. And then you will see there's a save like plus. And then we can use this one agent.xbx to browse it. Then you will get the information for the uh, for the map service. For example, the layer and uh, the field name. This is the all in the agent.xbx here. This is the uh, the feature layer, the name of feature layer, and this is the field name. So we can according to the name, this one, for example, this name dash two to change the color. So here we'll change to the Visual Studio again to create a silver light application again to click OK. And then to click OK to create a new one. And then go back to the simple, the simple code. I just downloaded the name as a silver light JSON unique and then to extract it O and then to open it as a, uh, as a same we need to use the latest version of our SGW Silverlight API.dl file so firstly we need to add reference and from the add reference we can directly to check on this one and to check the others uh, the others that we may use just click OK, and then we can uh, to check our simple code. Uh, this one for the main page dot XAML to open it. This is the uh, coding part for designing the front of the web browser in web browser. So I can copy it, and then to pass on here. And remember, it was uh, to load it automatically, and you got a preview in here. So this is the reset button. It will lead you to here to uh, enter the function code button dash reset. And this is the apply function to enter the button dash apply to apply to change the color. And this is the major my friend uh, code. The name is my best. And then for the measuring code part, it is located in the .cs file. So we, as the same, we can open this a sample code, and then to copy all, and then to uh, paste at here, and then to save. So here you will see uh, we still need to add a reference code system.json. So go to reference one to add reference and to find the one uh, we might use this one json dot j uh, system dot json and click on ok so the arrow will be gone and then go to the next one is uh, this is the major part this is to declare all the uh, uh, parameters and this is to initialize the map frame and then to set up for the white and height and set up for the background as well and to uh, execute the function code on layer loaded 
so it will lead you to here here enter this function to get a map extent then to set up for the symbology for example uh, the default uh, symbol and this is the color setting from ARGB and then we use the solid color brush to fill with the symbology and set as a default then we will apply we will uh, execute a query function if uh, we can change the name uh, we would like to query about the name that's zero attribute in here is name as Taiwan so if it is successful it will enter the function code success if the query is failed is failed it will enter the function code fail here then if enter the success it will start to uh, execute for the rest part for example this is to get a value from the attribute for each features and the second one is we need to get a geometry for each features that we can uh, use the geometry to fill to fill to fulfill with the uh, color and then to add the graphics and then to send the geometry back to add the graphic and then to use this one to zoom to so after doing this one we can start to continue to add the resource and here we need to change uh, the service name to uh, silver light uh, class we just create right so as the same we can use the control and one click to check the information about uh, the, sub the map service here so it is valid to do the query and then we can finish this one after finish all the uh, function here if oh, forget one thing is that here this is to create render in JSON format so after um, this code part it will lead you to the function here and here, here is set the a render for example we need to find uh, the field name dash 2 and for the value if it equals to type ct we use the symbology simple field symbol and the color is using this one and for Tainan, Tainan is using a uh, simple field symbol and the color is this one color pattern and also Gaussian and Hualien here I only use four cities or counties for example to change the symbology and after uh, creating the JSON text we can use we can fit as a JSON text box to in here so this is well recording a uh, responding sent back to the JSON text box in here the te this is the text box called JSON text box it was setting to here to display and then using this one to uh, set us as, as a geometry here this one to change the, uh, the color so this is how it works this is, will enter another function called gl dash property change here so this is about uh, the workflow for this exercise now so after we save this we can run this silver light application uh, for testing and now it comes another bug here so we can use this one oh the, the same we can use this one to change us here to change to here this one then to run it again and it will come the result to display in the web browser here it comes the result that's showing the JSON uh, text Okay, here comes the result that is showing in JSON text and now we are uh, doing the query in success so after this one it will sh um, show the map in here this is the major uh, map contents then we can use this apply uh, 
icon to execute to change the color pattern here to apply Here comes the result. Here we set the typicity as a blue, right? So from here, you may wonder what the color number uh, represent here. So the color number will uh, be A, B, G, R. So so the typicity will change as a blue one, and China City is located uh, here, located here is a green one so the tenacity is a uh, b the tenacity is a b g r so this is the green part and gaucho city is the red one so it's the same this is the red part and the east part of taiwan hualien we set as a yellow so it is mixed with the green and the blue so this is uh, how you can change the color according to the JSON format and apply with our Silva API. So this is the uh, exercise part. You can now to check how to use this one and to try it by yourself again. Okay, uh, we just finish our uh, our web course for applying Silverlight API with our SuperJ server. So if you have any questions, if you still have any uh, question that you don't understand, you can contact us by email or post on our SuperJo forum. The email is staff at superjotech.com is superjotek.com. And our forum is www.superjotech.com uh, slash forum. So you can contact us and send us our email or to post on forum. So, and you can also subscribe our Super Geo TV to get the latest information. So here is the end of our web course today. So goodbye everybody. See you next, next time.